The first shaft to face Marcus's test is 26-year-old Maltese-born Andre, who works in a fine dining hotel restaurant in Darlington. Yeah, I came to the UK from what? Because uh, I want to work in these top-end restaurants. You have to push yourself every day. It's, you have to learn very fast. I've seen a lot of chefs. They come one day and they just leave because it's very hard. It would be one of the best achievements of my career if I were master chef. No one wants to be second, so hopefully I'll win. Andre. Good to meet you. I would like you to cook for us a cauliflower steak, serve it with two cauliflower garnishes and a nut butter. Okay. The two garnishes could be anything you want from the table, but cauliflower based, okay? Okay. You got 15 minutes, Andre. Off you go. Yeah. Don't suppose for a moment you expected a cauliflower, did you? <laughs> no, I've, I've thought about a lot of things. <laughs> but never a cauliflower came, <laughs> came in my mind. So, do you have a plan? I think I'll do uh, cauliflower couscous. OK. Have you decided what else you might do? I think I'll do some florets. Had five minutes, okay, Andre. You've, you've you've got plenty of time. So that's the couscous you got going on in the pan, is it? Yeah. Why'd you come on MasterChef? It will be a good experience, and it's a good platform. Does it feel like a good experience right now? <laughs> it's a different experience. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, how are you going to make your nut butter? I'm going to roast my nuts and just blend them until it's like a puree almost. Nice. Instead, I will do it. Oh, my God. Sorry. Take that. Sorry. I changed my mind very quickly. You're going to warm the nuts first if, if with the fryer. Yeah, then I just blend them. You've got four minutes, Andre, now, please. Thank you. One minute, and we'd like that final garnish, please. Yeah. You done? Yeah, I'm done. Just in the nick of time. Thank you. I don't think much of your presentation of the dish. It doesn't look great, and it's a little bit on the small side. Yeah. But it's really nice to see that you've given us a steak, you've given us two garnishes, and you've managed a nut butter. It's a nice tasting dish. There's a little bit of freshness with the fresh cauliflower. Love the way you cooked the steak. Uh, beautifully basted. The nut butter, I wouldn't have deep fried them myself, but you've got a smoothy, nutty flavour there. It's not bad for a first attempt. Thank you. The couscous... I don't know why that's gone in the pan as well. I would have thought you could have just kept that raw. However, I think you work really quickly. Mm. <laughs> you've got all your jobs done, and I think you've delivered quite a tasty plate. Thank you. You did rush through this uh, task, and had you just sort of settled back a bit and, and reassessed what you had to do, I think uh, you've done much better. But pretty impressive, and I look forward to seeing what your next dish is going to be. Thank, Thank you. you. I thought it was a good start. Good. I was very happy with that. I was quite nervous at the beginning, but uh, I'm feeling quite good now. Good comments from the judges, so yeah, quite good. Next is 27-year-old Callum, junior sous chef at a Michelin-starred restaurant in Jersey. My food style is clean, refined, and also, I quite like the idea of using one ingredient in many ways. 
Ambition-wise, I know where I want to get to. Everyone does dream of accolades. If they were to come, that would be fantastic. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, so you have to put your all into it. I'm gunning for it. Nerves OK? Yeah, not too bad. OK, good. I would like you to cook us a cauliflower steak, yep. serve it with two cauliflower garnishes okay. and a nut butter. I wasn't expecting a vegetarian dish. You ready, chef? Yes. Let's do it. You're comfortable we cook in veg, Callum? I'm not afraid of vegetables. What are we thinking, Callum? So I'm thinking get that nice and caramelised, and then I'm thinking pickled cauliflower and a nice, like, cauliflower couscous. Where are you from, Callum? Milton Keynes, I guess you could say, is where I'm from. Have you travelled around a fair bit, Callum? After college, went to London, did London for like a year, and then an opportunity arose for me to go to Geneva. And I just thought, while I'm young, you know what? Why not? Look at great chefs. They've always gone on and done like a little bit in Paris. And originally, as a kid, I didn't like Paris because whenever I went, I always found it smelt. Um, I just decided, you know, why not go to Paris and work there? You've got your steak in the oven, yeah. you've got your pickled cauliflower, and this is now your couscous. Just like a, yeah, couscous. What about this nut butter? What are you doing for that? Get this butter to the Bernoisette stage, just throw a little bit of uh, this nut into it as well. You've got two minutes. All done? Yes. Just in time. <laughs> the nut butter doesn't really bring anything to this dish, unfortunately. It, what it is is just a little pool of grease on the bottom of the plate. What I was looking for was more of a peanut butter. But having said that, I think the cauliflower is beautifully roasted. It's got a lovely colour to it. The couscous works very nicely and the dish is very tasty. It's a good start in the kitchen. Thank you. The cauliflower has been really well cooked and it looks wonderful. I love this couscous you have on the side. It brings some freshness to the plate. The grease we could do without, but it's a good start. Thank you very much. I've watched many chefs come in and do a skills test. I think you've done a pretty good one. Thank you. Callum, thank you very much. Thank Here you. Go. He's got the swagger of a confident chef. He looks all right to me. Quite surprised by it being a vegetarian dish. Uh, not complaining about that. Could have been a lot worse, I think, but not a disaster, so it's a good start. <laughs>